In this video, I'm going to be showing you 19 mistakes that you need to avoid making in Blocks Fruits. Okay, so this is a mistake that a lot of new players will make. It's thinking that every mythic fruit is always the best fruit. And well, in most cases, this could actually be true. But there are some rare and legendary fruits that are actually better than some mythical fruits. An example of this is comparing the magma fruit to the gravity fruit. The gravity fruit is a mythical fruit and it costs a lot more than the magma. But did you know that the magma fruit is actually overall a better fruit? And the reason for this is that it actually has an awakening and the gravity fruit does not. So that makes the magma fruit a lot better and it's also way more useful useful for grinding and PvP than the gravity fruit can ever be. So now you guys might be wondering how do you actually tell which fruits are better? And what I recommend you guys to do is watch some videos and do some research on all the fruits and then you should choose what fruit that you actually want instead of buying a mythical fruit just because it's mythical. Okay, so this is something that a lot of new players do that's gonna tremendously affect how fast you level up. I'm talking about what type of fruit you grind with. In blocks fruits there are two types of fruits. There's grinding fruits and there's PvP fruits. And normally you don't want to be using PvP pvp fruits unless you have it as a permanent fruit or you've completely finished the game and the reason for this is that pvp isn't really necessary in blocks fruits what you really want to focus on is getting your level as high as possible and to do that you'll definitely need a grinding fruit and two grinding fruits that i completely recommend are the buddha and magma and the buddha being the best grinding fruit in the whole game so if you can get your hands on that it'll definitely help you out okay so this is a really crucial mistake and you want to make sure that you're not doing this i'm talking about switching fruits and what i mean by this is that switching the blocks fruit that you use every time you feel like it and this is a really bad thing to do and the reason for that is when you switch fruits you don't keep the same amount of mastery say for example you had the smoke fruit activated and you had a 400 mastery on it and then you eat the flame fruit then you start with the flame fruit mastery is zero the mastery does not transfer over however if you eat the smoke fruit again then you keep the same mastery you had so make sure you're not switching your fruits because if you spend a lot of time getting a high mastery on a fruit and just decide to switch to a different fruit, it could be really wasteful. And I know it's really tempting to do this and I myself have done it a lot of times. But if your goal is to reach the highest level possible, make sure you're not doing this. Okay, so this is a mistake that I see a lot of people that are new to the game doing. So people will normally go roll fruits and then they'll just forget to store them and then you end up dying to somebody in PvP and just completely losing the fruit. And you might be thinking, this isn't that bad i mean losing fruits like the chop spin and kilo isn't really something to be worried about but imagine if a player had the leopard or even dough fruit and losing that could be extremely bad because those fruits are considered some of the best fruits in the whole game okay, so this is something that's really simple and i don't see enough people doing i'm obviously talking about entering codes and the reason for this is that you can get some really cool things from entering codes things like double xp and even stat reset points and blocks fruits is still to this day releasing new codes but keep in mind the old codes do go inactive and the reason you want to enter in codes is because they're really simple to do and the payoff is definitely worth it i mean all you have to do is literally go to google and search up blocks fruits codes and then you click on the first website that shows up pretty easy if you ask me okay so this is something that i see a lot of new players doing it's eating a fruit while you have fruits equipped and this might seem a bit silly at first but you have to realize that not every player that joins blocks fruits instantly knows how the game works and some people might think that you can actually have two fruits equipped at the same time which you cannot so if you're a new player to blocks fruits make sure you don't accidentally do this especially not eating a kilo fruit to replace a dough fruit that would be completely unfortunate okay so this is a really simple mistake and it's pretty easy to avoid doing so a lot of new players when they first take a look at the blocks fruits dealer they're going to look at a bunch of cool fruits but a lot of them are not going to be in stock so if you're a rich player and you have finally in belly same make sure you actually wait for a good fruit to come in like the leopard fruit instead of buying the best fruit that's currently in stock and if you do this you could end up buying a really bad fruit that you're going to instantly end up switching from and if you keep doing that it's going to lead to wasting a lot of money that you could have saved to buy other fruits fighting styles or even swords okay so this is a mistake that a lot of new players might make i'm talking about buying everything and what i mean by that is every single npc that sells you something people buy from and this is definitely something that you don't want to be doing the reason for this is because it takes a lot of money and at the end of the day not everything is worth buying in my opinion you should choose a play style to play the game with and your main should either be a sword combat style or fruit so if you're a fruit main you definitely don't want to be buying new swords or even combat styles because it kind of wastes your money i mean if you're a fruit main you should probably save up for a better fruit and then once you get the best fruit then you can think about buying other swords or combat styles 
Okay, so this is a really simple mistake, and if you end up avoiding this, it could save you a lot of time. And this is something that I see a lot of people not doing. I'm talking about setting your spawn point. Setting your spawn point is something that you want to always keep doing. And the reason for this is that it literally lets you instantly teleport to where you have to be. So say, for example, you're doing your quest on the desert island, but then you have to go leave the island for some unknown reason. If you have your spawn point set, then you can instantly teleport back to the island. But if you don't, you have to take a long boat ride all the way back to it and this wastes a lot of time that could be spent grinding so just make sure you guys set your spawn point okay so this is a really stupid mistake that people make and it's really similar to another one on this list i've seen a lot of people leaving the game with items in their inventory and i'm not talking about items like swords combat styles or guns that stay once you join back i'm talking about items like physical fruits keys and other boss drops and these are things that you definitely don't want to be leaving the game with and some boss drops could be really valuable so make sure you actually use them before you leave the game so if you leave the game after getting them then that's probably not a good thing okay, so this is a mistake that i see a bunch of beginners making and it's rolling the blocks fruits gotcha way too early when you first start of the game you definitely just want to advance using swords and combat styles or if you're lucky enough to get a pro player to give you a free fruit other than that you definitely don't want to be going out of your way to try and get good fruits from the blocks fruits gotcha you could end up wasting all of your money and not have enough money to buy the swords or combat styles that you actually need to advance in the game but obviously once you get a higher level the blocks for gacha is a really good npc and you definitely want to use him to its full potential okay so this is a mistake that i see a lot of rich new players making and what i mean by rich is people that have a lot of spare robux to spend and people like this just end up buying every single game pass as soon as they get into the game and this is definitely something that you want to avoid doing and the reason for this is that not every game pass in the game is actually worth buying if you're trying to level up as fast as possible the two main game passes that you want to get are double money and double mastery and the reason for this is that these are the game passes that are crucial to leveling up double money literally gives you twice the money that you normally get making it way easier to buy anything that you want double mastery is pretty self-explanatory and it literally lets you level up your swords fruits fighting styles and even guns twice as fast and the other game passes like faster boats double drop chance and dark blade aren't really worth buying and when it comes to the fruit notifier this is something that completely varies if you're a rich Roblox player, then you should be able to buy the exact fruit that you want, so you technically have no need for the fruit notifier. So it would kind of be a waste to buy that. Okay, so this is a mistake that not a lot of people make, but it's still something that's really important that you have to make sure that you don't do. And I'm talking about upgrading useless items. Not many people know this, but there's actually an upgrade bench in Blocks Fruits. I mean, it's pretty much right there. You can't really miss it. And what it does is it lets you upgrade your sword or gun to a higher level, making it deal way more damage. And you definitely don't to do this for useless items imagine you try to upgrade the first sword that you got when you came to the game it's a sword that you won't be using after like two days of playing the game but if you have some really good swords then they're definitely worth upgrading just make sure you don't upgrade the wrong stuff it could waste a lot of time Okay, so this is a mistake that's pretty easy to avoid, but I see a lot of people doing, and it's PvP. And you might be wondering why PvP is such a crucial mistake in Blocks Fruits. And the reason for that is that in Blocks Fruits, you actually have no reason to fight other players, unless you're max level. And the reason you don't want to be doing this when you're actually leveling up in the game is because it's a huge waste of time. Because think about it, you actually gain absolutely nothing from PvP except for bounty or honor. And that's something that's not going to help you in leveling up. And the reason for that is that your bounty and honor increases the damage that you do but it's only towards other players so you only want to do this if you're max level and a bounty hunter but obviously if other players try to fight you you should definitely fight back because you don't want to just die do you okay so this is a really crucial mistake and you want to make sure that you're not doing this i'm talking about upgrading your stats evenly and you might be wondering why this is such a bad thing to new players it might seem like the right way to upgrade your stats just upgrade everything evenly but this is something that's going to take away all of your damage output in the game because you're not actually going to be using every stat that you upgrade when you play block fruits you usually want to choose one category that you mean either it is being a combat main a fruit main a sword main or a gun main and you want to focus on the defense stat the combat stat and the other stat that you're going to be playing and those are the only three stats that you want to upgrade in the game and you might be wondering why should i upgrade my combat stat if i'm a fruit main and the reason for that is because your combat stat not only increases your combat damage it actually increases your energy as well 
and you're not gonna get far in Blast Fruits if you don't have a lot of energy. Okay, so this isn't a mistake per se, but it's an NPC that you don't want to make the mistake of not using. I'm talking about the Abilities Teacher. The Abilities Teacher is an NPC that can be found inside the cave in the Frozen Village, and he sells you three really crucial abilities that you want to make sure you buy as fast as you can. The first ability is called Air Jump, which lets you jump in place 10 times, and this costs a total of 10,000 belly. The second ability is Aura, and this is something that you want to have if you want to advance in Blocks Fruits. It lets you do damage to elemental users, and it also has a damage and defense buff. And this ability costs a total of 25,000 belly. And the third ability is called Flash Step. This literally lets your user teleport, and it's not as important as the other two abilities, but it's something that you definitely want to get if you want to move around really fast. And Flash Step costs a total of 100,000 belly. So in total, all of these abilities cost 135,000 belly. So make sure you get your hands on them. That's pretty cheap. Okay, so this mistake is crucial to all your fruit mains out there. And I see a bunch of people doing this. It's searching for fruits without a fruit detector. And the reason this is bad is that you could spend a lot of time looking in various places on different islands. And searching for fruits without the detector is something that you don't want to be wasting your time on. And if you can't afford the game pass, you shouldn't be searching for fruits in the first place. Because they're really hard to find. Okay, so this is a mistake that a lot of new players make, and it's waiting for the boss to respawn. And the reason this is a mistake is most bosses in the game actually take 20 minutes to respawn, and those are 20 minutes that can be spent grinding other NPCs instead of just waiting for the boss. And even though the boss quest is the best quest that you can currently be doing, it's actually better to go back to an older quest, because it saves a lot of time and at the end of the day you get more money, XP, and stats. So this is a mistake that I see a lot of people making, and it's being a gun main. Don't be a gun main. 